everybody out there, this is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Mutt 16 pack opening video. It is Monday, so we're here once again for another Team of the Week pack opening and promo coverage. Week number four, we had some good performances, as you can see on your screen. We got a brand new Team of the Week hero, which is Muhammad Wilkerson from the New York Jets, and Martellus Bennett is the limited edition team of the week card that is in packs right now we pulled one last week we pulled honey badger hoping to have that success once more this week so we got a seven pro pack bundle coming up later on in the video but first let's take a look at some of the other team of the week cards and then we'll look at the hero in the limited edition and check those stats out gonna start things out by looking at the team of the week week four upgrade set which as always contains four gold cards and if you get one of these four cards or actually all four of these cards you can do this set and you're guaranteed one player that's guaranteed in the team of the week hero set which we'll talk about in a moment but we got Andy Dalton from the Bengals they have been uh, an extreme surprise to me guys 4-0 I thought they just kind of got lucky because of the schedule that they had the first couple weeks but 4-0 you got to give the Bengals props they usually can't win in the postseason, so we'll have to see how that turns out. But well-deserving, Andy Dalton had a really good game yesterday. Chris Baker, the next guy up, earning a Team of the Week card, 81 overall defensive tackle. Leonard Hakerson with the 4-0 Falcons, a very, very interesting team. Uh, after a dreadful season last year, a new coach, new attitude, the Falcons are balling out. And then Landon Collins, the rookie for the New York Giants, who had a big win over the Buffalo Bills yesterday, 82 overall, strong safety. So those are the four gold cards that won't be extremely sought after. But let me know in the comment section if you guys think any of those gold cards might look good. Uh, but here are the, the big cards, the big dogs. You get all four of these bad boys plus the game for uh, game of the, or sorry, week four game of the week item here and uh, I can't tell who that it is but it looks like it's the Ravens is it the Ravens and the Steelers that game was unbelievable uh, Thursday night football Justin Tucker he's amazing man that's a really really good kicker with all the bad kicking that's going on in the NFL right now the Ravens gotta be lucky to have Justin Tucker but let's take a look at the other cards we got Nick Perry right outside linebacker from the Green Bay Packers another undefeated team didn't look extremely great yesterday against the 49ers, but a win is a win, and they are doing it big. CJ Spiller, we got to take a look at this card, 84 overall. He was the hero yesterday. I tweeted it out. I don't know how he doesn't get more touches. I know he's been injured to start the season, but he should be touching the ball 15-plus times a game, and he just killed Dallas. Rookie linebacker making a mistake on that wheel route last night in overtime with the walk-off win. A really exciting game, but he's a 5'11", 94 speed, 96 agility, 94 acceleration, 85 carry, 86 ball carrier vision, 95 juke move, 63 truck move, 91 elusiveness. I've had his gold card as my kick and punt returner for a while, and it might be time to, to take a look at this card, maybe as a, you know, a, a third down back for me, somebody who can get on the field as you see. It looks like he's a lot better than Doritos or Danny and Tomlinson. Really hard to compare him against Carlos Hyde because I think they're two different types of runners. And uh, not as good as Jamal Charles as you would expect. But 94 speed will play a big part. So when this card goes down in price, I might have to add him to the roster. Going for about 30k right now. Uh, not too bad. The next one up, Dequell Jackson. Not going to take too much time looking at his stats. And then we also have Elite Tavon Austin, which I wouldn't mind taking a quick glance at. Very, very expensive right now as expected but he has 96 speed guys only 5 foot 8 95 elusiveness 91 spectacular catch route running isn't that great i thought he'd be a pretty good slot receiver but that route running is a little dreadful check out his acceleration at a 95 so not worth the price right now i mean an 86 overall i would say amari cooper's a lot better but again it could be another good return man card um, so those are the four cards. We mentioned the collectible. You get all those and you earn yourself a 91 overall Muhammad Wilkerson, who is the team week, team week, uh, uh, team week, week four team of the week hero. Let's go ahead and take a look at his card. We found a couple Muhammad Wilkerson's on the PS4 auction house. As you can see, going for 250k, 91 overall. 
let's take a look and compare him to his base elite card which i have on my team and he tops it in every single statistic on the screen 77 speed that's a huge jump look at that block shed at 97 95 tackle 93 strength 86 acceleration 96 power moves he's not really finesse guy only a 68 uh, but all in all looks like a good card I've said it before I'll say it again I've always been a fan of Muhammad Wilkerson cards in ultimate team because of his high block shed and this is one that I more than likely will be going after it'll be a huge upgrade for my defense so I think I'm gonna do it let me know do you guys think I should go after the Wilkerson I won't go that high in the price but if he drops down um, to you know like 150k it might might be the move for me I'm not 100% sure um, all depending on prices but I think I'm gonna do it so that is the team of the week hero the limited edition card this week is Martellus Bennett from the Chicago Bears pretty cheap right now only going for a little under 80k I'm kind of surprised at that um, usually these things are a little over 100k or so um, starting things out but you know we got kind of a flood of tight ends over the last two weeks or so but he's six foot six 83 speed 77 run block that's very impressive before reading the rest of the stats I'm actually gonna compare him to Jimmy Graham as you can see a little slower much better run block much better strength catch is the same release and route running not as good catching traffic the same in 93 spectacular catch um six foot six so god those are some tall tight ends both of them they could be a nice one two combo for me so maybe just maybe we'll be able to pull this martellus bennett in the seven pro pack bundle so there is the team of the week limited edition card again last week we pulled tyron matthew honey badger in the very last pack very last card it was the most clutch moment of my ultimate team career so let's go ahead and see if we can do it again seven pro pack bundle like we do each and every week if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to do so you don't want to miss out another pack openings gameplays i got some really good tip videos coming up for all of you guys that need some help on the offense be on the lookout for a video tomorrow with a mini scheme from the Eagles playbook. So here we go. Wow, this, guys, let me know in the comments. Is this card uh, worth anything? I know kickers, specifically gold kickers, are pretty hard to come by for these team captain sets. So we get an Adam Vinatieri. Uh, with my luck, he's probably one of the, you know, on the cheaper end. But hopefully he goes for a decent amount. Um, so here we go. Pack number three, we get a Virgil Green as our gold card. The golds are popping out of these packs pretty quickly. I don't want to give up hope, guys, because we clutched it out last week. So far, pack opening, not so good. Here we go. We get our gold early again. All four packs so far, the gold has flown out like on the first one, two, or three cards. So I think we got three packs to go. Can we clutch it out again? Hopefully so. My Eagles looked awful yesterday. There's another gold, Justin Tuck. But let me know how your team did in the comments section how you're feeling about your team season so far we're a quarter of the way through the nfl season my eagles one and three another poor first half performance against the redskins yesterday extremely disappointing there we go we get a team of the week item this is my first time pulling a team of the week and just a regular pro pack aside from the honey badger i guess i'm just referring to like standard team of the week items but we get that andy dalton so i'm probably going to try to sell that thing right away because the price is going to go down on it pretty quickly um so might as well try to get some value for it and here we go last pack can we clutch it out one more time we're going backwards on the rest of this pack here we go dexter mcdonald we have yet to get our gold card and there it is it's a matthew stafford so we don't do it again this week, but at least we got Andy Dalton, possibly a pretty uh, rare card in Adam Vinatieri. Vinatieri, I almost butchered his name while I did. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back with some videos tomorrow, some gameplays and a tips video. Don't miss it. Peace.